all amigos, all amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croisui, salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chash, yakshimash, welcome and shalom. So, I thought I would do an update video for you guys, because it's been a while since we've been in the workshop, and uh, I've put out posts and stuff on Instagram and YouTube and wherever, but I thought I'd make a little video for you, and we've got Zach here, who's having a little brushy because he needs a brush, because he needs a haircut. So I'll be giving him a haircut soon. So yes, past five weeks have been crazy, absolutely crazy, horrendous and at some times as well. But uh, so it all started about five weeks ago when our cat Ping Pong, she appeared for food one morning and she had this huge lump on her head and I looked at it and I was like, oh gosh, she's been stung. She's been stung by something. Because, you know, we hadn't noticed it the day before and it just sort of like appeared overnight. So anyway, so we took her to the vet and um, they did a checkup on her and they did a... They came back and said that, you know, they, they can see something there. They can see a lump. So they drained the fluid to reduce the swelling in her forehead. Um, and they could see something there so she was left there and she had a biopsy done and then a week later we had the biopsy results and they said that she had a tumour in her sinuses um, and, and her brain and sinuses and that was causing the, the huge swelling was the tumour and the liquid around it blah 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 so unfortunately they said there's nothing you can do I mean she could have gone through all the treatments and and chemo and all that but it was just I don't want to we, we didn't want to put her through all of that because that would have been horrendous she was 16 years old and we'd had her from when she was a little kitten um, our next door neighbor said look there's somebody with kittens who have gotten they need they need rehoming immediately they're extremely young so we had her and she was absolutely tiny so we called her Talia her name was Talia from the um, Mexican actress and singer called Talia. Um, but when she was born, she was so small. She was just this tiny little ball of fur. And um, she got called ping pong because she looked like a ping pong ball and it got it, it stuck ever since then. She was known as ping pong. So wasn't it, where's ping pong? Huh? You missing ping pong? So anyway, so we fed her with a pipette for a few days and then she was taking liquids and then she survived. She was fine and she's just this loving little ball of fur, grumpy on times, didn't like to be brushed, disappeared, um, and, and, you know, for days on end. Sometimes she would go and disappear into the woods. She'd spend a lot of time going back to our old house um when we moved but she'd always come back here but um she'd spend a lot of time over there in our old next door neighbors she was terrible i mean our old next door neighbor a number of times would walk into the bedroom and she had a cat as well and ping pong had gotten into the house through the cat flap taken herself upstairs and was sleeping on the bed of the neighbor so um which was really funny and she didn't mind it so anyway so the vet said that she had about three weeks and we were like right okay fine so she was on a course of this medication called Metacam which was helping her and that was that and then the next thing then about a week after that we noticed that Joey wasn't he was he was sneezing all the time and he just didn't look very well so we thought oh gosh right okay so take him to the vet and he also had um, cancer he'd had two but the tumors on him were throughout his body so he was wasting away because we noticed that he had just his fur had gone kind of like clumpy and his fur and his, there was a there was a, an odor about him so we took him in and they said that he also was had this um had a had key, uh, cancer but it was all the way through him so unfortunately they said there was nothing they could do it was going to get where, uh, worse and it was going to get worse very quickly because we'd noticed you know how much he deteriorated 
So unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to him there and then. So that was a heck of a shock. We took him and there's nothing we could do. So we lost Joey very suddenly. And then we had Ping Pong, who was um, going to pass as well. But she stuck on for another three weeks. And then this week, Wednesday, a couple of days ago, today's Wednesday making this. Um, so we took her in on the, on the Monday afternoon and uh, we'd had three weeks with her and we said our goodbyes and the doggies we held ping pong and took her up to the dogs and the dogs had a good sniff of her and you know say goodbye to ping pong kind of thing and and then we took her and then unfortunately that was you know she had to go to you know be put to sleep so it's been a really roller coaster over five weeks i've been spending all of my time kind of like with her because she'd become very clingy and very cuddly so i was spending most of my days with her sitting outside in in, in the nice weather or in the evenings on the sofa with a blanket and she'd, she'd nest here into a little ball and she'd lick you'd have all these big spit marks all over your shoulder but i didn't care did we and we all had snuggles didn't we? And you had snuggles with ping pong as well, and all of you together on the big doggy bed, didn't you? Huh? You all had snuggles together? Yes, you did, didn't we? Yeah, we all had snuggles together. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, it's it was a crazy. So the um, washing machine videos that I have, which go out on Wednesday and Saturday, I have weeks ahead of schedule to them so they were already done but the vacuum videos I didn't have many kind of like left out you know surplus so unfortunately I just wasn't in the mood to be to be making any but um we're gonna start again now on these yeah so I'm making this video on the Wednesday but you're gonna see it on Friday afternoon um, and then Friday evening, then you will see the video that I started six weeks ago on the uh, Hoover Junior U1012. So you're going to see part one of that tonight. Um, but I wanted to put this video out first. And uh, Zach was in the garage with me today, so we decided to make a video, didn't we, Zachy? Huh? Did you pull? Where's my pull? Pull? High five. High five. High five. He's not going to do it today. High five. Quick. Yay! High five. So yeah, so I wanted to make a video to uh, for you guys to just let you know what's going on and everything's going to get back to normal with um, back videos. Yeah, Zach. They're going to get back to normal, so... I really appreciate all your really lovely comments on the posts that I put on. Um, so much positivity and um, and thank you, thank you for that. It was really nice. Yeah, wasn't it really nice Zach, to see the comments? Yeah, it's very sad, wasn't it, babes? Oh, never mind. We still got Dexter. I'm hogging it. Uh, we still got Dexter, little bugger. He's six years old seven years old so we got one cat we're not going to be replacing um the cat um we're just gonna look after dexter and the, th and the three doggies so it's a bit of a quieter house now isn't it because every time we go out feeding time for the cats used to be a a right um malarkey wasn't it but now there's only dexter and he troughs and grazes so we've only got one kitty and he's not very friendly to you is he not as friendly as Joey and Ping Pong was. He's a bit more aloof, his old Dexter, as you've seen. But, um, yeah, so that's that. I'm afraid I think that's just part of life. Um, and it's a bit sad, especially because we'd had Ping Pong for so long. Joey was 17. Uh, we'd had him for eight years uh, when he was... Uh, eight or nine we had him he was um, given to us so we had a you know we had we had a plenty of time with Joey um, it was very sudden um, but 
with ping pong, you know, we'd had her 16 years. That's a, you know, it's a long time, 16 years. When she was a kitten, we used to take her down to um, my parents' house in Swansea. We used to take her down. Uh, there's loads of pictures of her. When we used to go down for Christmas, she used to come with us. Uh, until we moved and then we had a cat flat fitted then and someone used to come in and feed her but uh, yeah she spent a couple of Christmases down in South Wales before we had the dogs she was the first pet we ever had she was the first one but uh, yeah so thank you very much guys for listening and um, being really understanding and uh, like I said now there's more back videos coming out and you'll see one this afternoon later on today. So I hope you enjoy it. Part one of the Hoover Junior U1012. Um, I've got a few more bits that I need to film today to finish that one. And uh, yeah, then we'll be ready. So again, thank you very, very much for understanding. I really appreciate all your positivity and comments and kind words and, and likes and everything. It was, it was very nice of you. So to you out there there thank you very very much thank you for understanding and uh, let's crack on with more so yeah shall we see him again soon bye y'all